Hi, my name is John Cordy, and yesterday uh, I put up a video and Leon Todd uh, of Australia, proponent of the Axe FX, a uh, great guitar player, has a great YouTube channel. He uh, maintained that that was my best intro to date, and so today I thought I'd do an ad read for Whisper. And so what they've asked me to say is that Pete Townsend's favourite chocolate bar is the Whisper. Don't tell your mum. Okay, and then another thing I thought. I don't actually have a topic to hand, but I think it's the same company and uh, the tagline that I had for that was, uh, it's just research, I'm writing a book. Anyway, so yesterday I got the Strymon timeline and I was messing around with the ice preset and I think a few people asked, do you think I could do anything like that with the Helix? And so I thought this morning I'll try and do that. You will have seen in the intro where I arrived and that is with this kind of thing. So not necessarily exactly the same kind of vibe, but hopefully somewhere vaguely similar. And so I'll just talk you quickly through what I'm doing. On this top block uh, is where I'm doing my amp and kind of reverb stuff. If I go to snapshot three, I've turned off all of the kind of... All the other bits and pieces. And so then we can also kick on a Timmy if we really wanted. If we really wanted to clip everything, is apparently what I needed to say there. What have we got going on? So this signal path, uh, I've set the output to be path two. Um, you do that like this. So you go to this part here, highlight it, and then turn to the right, and then you're basically running two DSP paths into one another. And then on this lower line here, I've got a vintage digital delay and that's feeding a poly capo which is going up to do the pitch stuff. That's feeding a reverse delay and then that's feeding search lights to do like a diffusion reverb kind of thing and all of that's all of that's on a separate uh, on the path 2B or whatever it's called so down on the parallel path and then at the end I've got a transistor tape. Ideally I might also put another reverb at the end to tie it all together but I've run out of DSP. Things we can do with the vintage digital we can use the sample rate to make it brighter or darker That's one thing I've been trying. Uh, I've also kept the headroom up really high here to try and avoid some kind of digital clipping because um, that doesn't really sound good with this kind of clean stuff. And I've set the scale up to 100 so that it's not doing a ping pong thing going into the capo. I believe the poly capo can only be uh, in mono anyway. so. You can also experiment with the auto EQ of that if you wanted. The reverse delay, pretty straightforward. I've just got on like a 37 mix to try and get some of those kind of little tail bits. It's like disconnected. Um, it's like disconnected fifths up um, that kind of come back in for the, the timeline preset. And then the searchlights is basically roughly close to the default, but I think I've brought down the high cut. Again, you could open that back up if you wanted it to be a bit more of a... So that's 
how I put together this ice preset. You can grab it if you want in my um, preset bundle. I've got it without the pitch as well if you wanted. I think it sounds pretty pretty. It's not exactly the same as the timeline. That's very difficult to achieve, but it's something that we can do which is sort of close. And again, got this kind of mash button as well. Anyway, so hopefully that might uh, give you some fun vaguely similar to the Strymon timeline. Uh, thank you for stopping by. If you want to like and subscribe, you could do. There's lots of more of this kind of helixy stuff on the channel and lots of guitar playing and lots of demos and bits and pieces. So if you haven't already subscribed, if you could, that'd be good. Um, thank you for stopping by. Cheers.